Ciao a tutti ragazzi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Benedetta and today I'm going to show you how to make a super easy and delicious pasta sauce. Yes, because after the ragù alla bolognese series I needed something easy, quick but still delicious. Before getting started I want to thank you for the support you have shown me during all the process of making this uh, Ragola Bolognese series, tagliatelle and so on. If you haven't watched it you can find the link of the videos in the description box down below or in the info cards right next to me. Okay, time to get started and cooking a delicious pasta. First of all, let's prepare the sausage. By the way, if you're vegetarian or vegan, don't worry, simply remove the sausage and this pasta sauce will still be delicious. Cut through the sausage along the length in order to remove the skin. Then simply with your hands crumble the sausage in a bowl. Time to prepare vegetables. We have mushrooms and radicchio, the red bitter taste Italian salad. Let's cut champignon mushrooms. Remove the white part from radicchio and then chop it thinly. All right, all our ingredients are ready. Now, I'm going to use two different pans to cook sausage and mushrooms, but of course, if you don't want to use too many pans or you don't have enough time, just put together and it will be fine. So in a pan, I pour some extra virgin olive oil, a clove of garlic, and when everything is nicely warm, I add the sausage and I let it fry for a few minutes. I'm doing this just because I don't want the taste to get together now, but it's not a big deal if you do it. Time for a drop of dry white wine. Let it evaporate. And you can turn off the heat under the sausage pan. Meanwhile, we are doing the same with the mushrooms. Just a drizzle of olive oil, a small clove of garlic, add the mushrooms, fry them for a few minutes, a small drop of white wine as well here. When everything is cooked, I simply drop the mushrooms inside the sausage pan. This is optional, but I'm removing the garlic cloves. And add some freshly chopped parsley. Our radicchio is ready, but we are going to use it at the very end. Indeed, the radicchio tends to get kind of brown with the heat and we want to preserve as much as possible the nice purple color. So now let's bring it to a boil, a pot full of water. Let's add the sea salt. and drop our pasta. In this case I used rigatoni, but you can use any kind of pasta. In my opinion, with this sauce the best is short kind of pasta. Quick tip, save a little bit of cooking water and add it in the pan. This, thanks to the presence of starch from the pasta, will make the sauce creamier. Our pasta is almost al dente. I'm gonna add now radicchio in the pan with the sausage and mushrooms. I turn on the heat, but just at low heat. Mix quickly and drop the pasta inside the pan. Combine everything and let it cook for just a few minutes. I like to add a little bit of grated parmigiano reggiano in the pan. Combine. And now our pasta is ready to be served. 
and now it's time to enjoy it. Of course you can add more parmigiano reggiano on the top. Super easy, quick and delicious pasta with salsiccia, mushrooms and radicchio. A nice idea for something different. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know with a comment if you're gonna try it and see you next week with another Italian recipe. Buon appetito!